Yeah, hello and welcome to your City Skylands quick tip. In this quick tip, it's all about bridges over road. So, you all know the standard way of making a bridge over road is basically choosing a road of your liking, whatever you want. Maybe you use a standard road like this. So, you do have a road of your liking and we just start there, making it ramp up to the side high, making a road over there and go down again. Back here, that's the, that's the normal standard default way of making a road making a bridge over a road in City Skylands and you can do this in several ways of stuff. So um, one issue we, you may have encountered already is if you want to try to place a road diagonally, so let's try this one. So we have the road and we want to have it diagonally. Let's make 45 degree like like this and then you have then it works like this and sometimes you cannot place this because the pillar is in the way and what you do is you click that button and turn off the road lane grid and road lines and leaving only angle uh, accept that and then you may be able to put your pillar in there so but what I'm actually want to show you now is basically how you build more sophisticated bridges over roads and uh, this is basically using some mods and the most essential mod you will use for that is road anarchy and road anarchy actually is that little window you may see very often in other videos uh, from other players already because this is very really essential you really need this and I can't stress you enough to get this mod if you happen to be on the PC because it's not available for consoles, I guess. So, this is all on PC. So, what I can do with the uh, Road Anarchy tool, and uh, Road Anarchy, this is actually two mods. One is Road Anarchy and the other is Ro Road Tools or something. So, I'm, I'm linking you that in the description. But what you can do with this tool is actually making much cooler bridges. Mm -hmm. For example, having a normal bridge is like this. So, let's see if we can make Wait, then again, if we make a normal bridge like this, and we give it, get it to 12 over there, and getting back again, like this. So we do have that one bridge. I might maybe use a different road, maybe use a two-lane two road up here, like this one. So we do lose two-lane road like this. So we do have our very cool bridge up here. And what we now can do with the road anarchy tool is actually make this bridge. And how do we do that? So we're going to to the road uh, editor and going to here for upgrade road and then we choose this button here forces the use of bridge pieces if available so we do have an available bridge piece over there so we can just put it in there and we have a bridge piece now placed over here which is much more complicated to get that work in another version so that's what we can do and we can change it back to elevated if we want to so another thing we can actually do to make this one happen is we can use this button forces the ground to follow the version of road and if we use that one, we can just lift the terrain to where the road is. And that would look like this. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's very cool. So that's that's something something very nice. And in order to show you the next, I'm going to make another bridge with a little bit more clearing around uh, the actual road to not have uh, any gravel glitches in here. So we're going to place us ourselves... No, let's do something else. Uh, we have another mod called Move It Tool. It's one of the other essential mods you definitely should have on your PC version, which gives you this little button. And with this little button, what you can do is you can select nodes of a road. So let's select these nodes of the road, like this one. Uh, what I want to do is I want to have those be sunken. I want to be them in a sort of canyon. So what I'm going to do is I'm placing another road for giving me a hint. I'm placing a road up here and I'm placing this road at minus 12 <coughs> and I'm using the forces terrain uh, forces terrain to follow the elevation of the road. And if I now place the road here, the elevation actually follows that road. So I do have a, a high now set for that one. And what I can do with the movie tool now, I can use select these nodes and then I'm use here align to object high and then I select that node. So what now happened is actually that these road pieces actually were now sunken on the exact same depth of that road and the terrain gets uh, just goes with it. And that's very cool because what I can do now is I can use a normal road like this. Let's use a normal road and I'm going to put that normal road around here, put it like there and yeah, I've, yeah, I've had the... I wasn't on minus so be sure to lay it down on zero and then on minus, so that's what we're going to do now. And I'm going to place that road up here, placing now a bridge piece over there and over there. So what happened now is, because I had activated the force, to force ground to follow version of road, we do get this graphical very odd thing. But I need to just change it to elevator road again, 
force it to elevate it, and now I get these pieces. And that's very cool, because that way I can actually make a sunken road with bridges over it. And with Move It, I can actually align the road to the border of that canyon to make it look very uh, good. And that's how you make a sunken road over a highway or a bridge over a highway in several different spaces. And what you can do with the Move It tool, um, you can still use that one and use the page up, page down keys to actually move the pieces around and make all sorts of things. So I actually did not have that one selected. So for example, like this, if you like this more, it's no problem at all. We'll make it a little deeper, like this. And you can do a lot of a lot of different stuff with that sort. So that's how you make bridges over roads. And I hope you learned something and you know, stop playing around with those two mods I actually told you. And I'll try to put it in the description of this video. So please subscribe me and give me the bell button. So I think you, uh, I hope you have a nice day. See you next time. Bye bye.